Okay. Hello, folks, fellow YouTubers and friends. This is uh, mine and Larry's. Do what? Boom lap. Boom. Oh, boom sorry. Lap. Welcome again to Boomtown Laboratories. All right. Uh, <clears throat> this is mine and Larry's idea for our jack shaft or gearbox, whatever you want to call it. We're trying to increase the speed. What we have here is right here. This is 38 teeth. This one is 10 teeth. This one is 22. And the one under the bottom, right under here, is 8 teeth. If you figure it all up, then up here on the very top, we've already ordered. I went to uh, Fastenal this morning and ordered this one. I ordered an 18 tooth here. And there's a fi uh, 54 tooth on the VAWT over there. So <laughs> if you figure it all out, with 18 teeth here, that is a uh, 31 to 1 ratio. So every time the VAWT makes one revolution, the alternator will make a 31. Now, I ordered a 14 tooth just in case, and that's going to take the alternator at a 40 to 1 revolutions. So we're getting there as far as uh, the VAWT turns anywhere from uh, 10 to 15 RPMs in a uh, 4 to 5 mile an hour wind. So I'm hoping we'll get this thing on up there. Now, uh, to make, we may, we're going to lose torque. In increasing speed, we're going to actually lose torque. So we may have to add more barrels to this thing, make it even taller. Right now it's 9 feet high. We might have to go 12 or, uh, or even 15 feet. But anyway it goes, that's the whole point of building the VAWT is to try to see if we can make usable power, electric, electricity, at very, very low wind speeds. Okay? All right. Uh, the, uh, we're going to try to go ahead and get all this thing mounted and all that goodies, all those goodies. And uh, we're making it slightly slidable, adjustable. So that uh, when the other sprockets do come in, we can uh, put the chain on it and adjust things out. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and, and see if we can't get the three and a half inch uh, tower pipe to and mount it up against the uh, the shop, and then we got to figure out a way to pick this bad boy up and put it up in the air. All right, everybody have a great day. Bye bye. Hello, folks, fellow YouTubers and friends. Welcome again to Boomtown Laboratories. Of course, right in this moment, we're not at Boomtown Laboratories. We're uh, at Fulton Metal in, uh, in Denton, Texas. And we've come up here to get our 3.5 inch inside diameter pipe for our mast to mount the uh, VAWT. Okay, uh, this, again, this is one of my favorite toy stores. Nice place. They let you rummage around through here. All right. Got some good stuff. See any three and a half, Larry? Oh yeah. That pipe made, right? Huh? Outside? No, three and a half inside, four inch outside. Okay. Yeah, they got a whole bunch of odds and ends out here. New steel and all used. And uh They've got these round discs here. Boy, they're nice. I bought a bunch of these and uh, gave them to Scott Brown of uh, Green Wind and other home energies and uh, to make some uh, axial flux alternators out of. I don't. Th I think he's been busy with other projects lately. But uh, he's my bud. I like him. I'm gonna get one of these big suckers, a couple of these big ones, and I've got some uh, four inch long quarter inch thick, half inch wide magnets. I'm thought of making me a really big one. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'll pick up two of those today. Oh well. Okay, enough for this one. Hello folks, fellow YouTubers and friends. Welcome again to Boomtown Laboratories. Okay, uh, Larry's got the jack shaft set up in place. We still have a few days to go before we get the, uh, the 18 and 14 tooth gear for the top to go to the VAWT. The uh, uh, alternator, my axial flux alternator, is going to the left. And uh, 
we're gonna wait till we get the, the uh, sprocket for the jack shaft first so that uh, we can get it adjusted and get the chain tight. Then that way we'll set the uh, alternator on it. Okay, uh, yesterday we went to Fulton Metals to get our three and a half inch pipe that will slide up inside of the, the four inch pipe. But uh, unfortunately they didn't have any so we had to settle for a piece of three inch by three inch tubing steel that's uh, the walls are three sixteenths of an inch thick and it was kind of a lucky thing at that that, that we did that because it was like about seventy dollars cheaper than the pipe <laughs> I don't know why but it was let me see if I can zoom in on this right here see we've got uh, the angle welded to it and we measured it up hopefully we got our measurements right and that way it's going to fit right there on that board let me back off on with the camera a little bit well, we're going to take the other VAWT down and mount the bigger one right there and oops I can't get the camera down far enough yeah there's a hole right there and we've got three sacks of uh, 80 pound sacks of uh, ready mix concrete to go in there once we stand this up in place and get it all plumb and straight up and down like we should uh, Jason our newest assistant is uh, wire brushing this down uh, tubing down with a uh, grinder and a wire brush so that we can paint it of course it's gonna be green as well everything's gonna be really green I got the Sun at my back it's really hard to find this thing and focus I hope you people put up with me but anyway the tubing was 24 foot long and they would only cut it 12 foot or uh, we had to buy the whole thing in other words you can buy a 12 foot piece or a 24 foot piece but they, they wouldn't let us buy a 16 foot which is what we need so we had to buy the whole 24 feet and it came out sales tax and all was $97 and change and the pipe going to cost us just for 16 feet was going to cost us $160 so we came out really good on that and well that's where we are right now so later today I'll take another short video and uh, show us actually standing the uh, tubing up and getting ready for mounting the uh, VAWT y'all be good have a great day well there it is folks <clears throat> we got the pole uh, the tubing uh, mounted and got it uh, in the ground with concrete. Concrete's already set up. We've got it mounted at the top by the uh, platform, the deck, and braces going off to both sides of it. I don't know if you can see those. Jason's putting the final touches on it with the paint, so there's really not a whole lot more we can do now until the, uh, the 18 and 14 tooth sprockets get in, and they should be in hopefully by the end of next week. So we're gonna start another little project my uh, storage containers so that uh, we can put the two 40 footers side by side and build a frame up on it for some solar panels okay all right that's be all I can do for videos on this VAWT for now until the, the, like I said until those profits get here so everybody just enjoy it's Friday so have a great weekend bye bye